I, okay, I need to make a run video. I've played too many bows. It's it's like I haven't even been on Brawl today, right? I just I was thinking about going on Brawl and I was like, okay, you know what? That's a perfect introduction to the video. That is a f you, you did you saw that correctly. You did see that right. Don't worry, don't worry. Your eyes weren't weren't deceiving you or anything. All right, let's, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's, let's see what just happened. Right, let's let's take a look. Okay, so you see this, right? I I've never labbed bow in my life. Right, I've never done anything like that. I've never labbed the bow. I've never, I've, I've never like practiced this combo ever. I've just hopped into training room, pressed record, and look at this, right? D light, there, and light there. True combo, full piece, true combo. <laughs> People will complain about gaunts. People will complain about old blasters having like four hits, three hits, saying it was completely game breaking. Needs to be taken out. Um, and bow players will complain about gaunts, say three hits too much. You have a full hit you come on this weapon. You only need six decks too. It's not like it's not just because I'm on Koji and I'm on like a hundred decks, right? That's not like the, the thing that makes this work. It, you only need six decks? And yeah, granted, it only works at zero to da uh, zero damage even. But how hard is it to hit a D light? Hmm. I don't think it's very hard. I can't lie. I think this move is probably one of the easiest moves to hit in the entire game. Right, and you get a four piece true combo out of it. Okay, and like people will say, if you bring this combo up to people, right? Yeah, a bow means you bring this combo up to bow means they say oh no nah, you, you, you'll never hit that in the game right that's that's just you just you're reaching you're reaching for obscure um you know combos and stuff and then you know they'll say about scythe oh wait people say scythe doesn't have uh, true combos but if you hit it there from precisely 500 pixels up uh, above the stage and then you do um a gc d light at precisely the right millisecond that's a true combo how can you say you don't have true combos yeah i know at uh, scythe it must be a broken weapon B bow mains bow mains are on a different planet right this this weapon is tapped everything about this weapon is tapped okay so d light let's look at hitboxes okay d light let's, if the if the 100 little mini hitboxes during the massive arrow weren't enough, there's a humongous splash at the end. That that hitbox is the size of some sigs, okay? Alright, anyway. We don't need to speak about it. What we need to speak about is the fact that true combos out of everything. Uh Sir, true combo, and light true combo. Um and light nah is actually true. Oh, well, I mean I guess I guess maybe not maybe not at this stage, but and light true combo, right? Recovery, true combo. Uh well at later helps anyway. Dare true combo, uh, dare and light true combo. How come a weapon, right, which plays neutral for you, because neutral is played for you on this weapon, you don't need to, like, like neutral is the hardest part of Brawl, and the hardest part of any fighting game ever, right? Like, that is what the fighting games boil down to, uh, ultimately, is neutral game, right? Like, who gets the first hit? How do you manage to get that first hit? On bow, it's free. You don't even need a foot. Like, okay, D light. If you miss, it doesn't matter. There's absolutely no end like at all. You can literally just move out the way. Um, you can, you can, you can, you know, you can just like spot dodge an uh, attack coming. It doesn't matter. There's no end like this move. And unless you like are in the perfect position to punish D light, you're gonna get punished for trying to punish it, right? Because trying to punish this move, nah, it, it don't even bother. Don't even bother. Side light hits stacked. Um, because you know a weapon which has uh, uh you know a move like this. You know, with this disgusting range, right? I guarantee it'll hit. Do you think it'll hit this J on from here, right? Do you think D Light will hit the J on from here? <laughs> My bet is yes. It might not. Oh, wow. What a surprise. Yes, it does. And it also has a move that hits stacked. And if you don't think it's stacked enough, because obviously it doesn't hit here, well, let me introduce you to N Light. Yeah, N Light's a thing. And N Light also two combos into Nair, if you didn't know. That's a thing. Nair is also a thing, which. Why is it a thing? I don't know. People talk about Hammer Nair hitting grounded. But what about this? Huh? What? Why is this not um not brought up at all? I don't I don't really understand that. You know, if Hammer Nair hitting grounded is one of the most broken things in the entire game, what about Bow Nair? Why? Is, is that not broken? Is it, Does it just not count for bow? Like, is, is it different? I, I, I'm not sure. It might be. It must be. I don't know, but... Alright, anyway. Um, so, yeah. D-Light, one of the longest range attacks in the entire game. Uh, it, it hits from there. Okay. Uh, also, stacked option. Also, a, very, a pretty stacked option, which... Like, side light, it comes out instantly. Right? It comes... So does D-Light, actually. Like, the only way to be bow is to react to D-Light. And unless you're on 1,200, like, if you actually railed just, just, like, 12 lines of crack cocaine, okay, you're not reacting to D-Light. Absolutely never. Okay, side light, it comes out, like, frame one, same as hammer and light. Uh, bow and light also comes out instantly and has, technically, 
okay, because of the way hitboxes work in Brawl, has the biggest hitbox. Okay, can we just please, please, please look at this? Can we look at this? Has the biggest hitbox in all of Brawl. Because of how, how hitboxes work, um, it covers the most surface area out of any single attack in the game, which, which means that it has the biggest hitbox, right? It, it will hit, like, the largest area of any other attack in the entire game because of how, you know, how hitboxes and how hurtboxes, like, work and because they're just a massive oval. Um, like, if any part of that oval touches any part of those, like, other circles going up, it's done now. You're getting hit by it. If it was a line, it wouldn't be as bad, I think. Like, I, I read I read a whole post about it. But, um, yeah, this is the biggest um, hitbox in the entire game. There is also the most free edge guard of all time. With Ground Pound also coming out instantly. And having way too much force. Like, absolutely way too much force. It also has, um, you know, on-stage shoot combos and stuff that can, you know, lead to kills. If you do manage to hit on-stage. Obviously, like I said, it's like those scythe combos. Like, they're really obscure. And, you know, I, I guess... It doesn't really matter too much, but it's still there. Like, it's a there. What? Oh, I just, oh. Okay, speaking of um, there also being a, being a free edge guard, if you've ever been hit by something like this, right? Just think, okay. If you're following a bow player up to stage, say you're playing Scythe and you're behind this, this sweaty Koji right now, okay? And you're going to go near him. Make it, oh, this is, a, this is a free, he hasn't even touched the floor, he hasn't touched the floor, oh, and then he just dares, right, and since you're behind him, you get hit by this humongous splash, guess what, spiked, you're gone, you're done now, you're finished, absolutely, you're dead, because you've just been spiked, because th this, it exists, it exists, like, and because, like I said, the way hitboxes work in Brawl, right, um, and you're, oh, sorry, I just, I just turned them off, uh, but, uh, yeah, because of the way hitboxes and stuff work. Why am I frozen? But, like, anyway, if like you can you can get hit by this without have okay maybe not like that but if you hit it really grounded like I like I already showed you, um, you can get hit by that and just die without having even touched the wall. Okay, well that's not a good example. But like I said, I'm not a bow player, right? So it, <laughs> you know, if you master this stuff, how do you lose a game, right? Because also the fact that so D light, okay? How do you avoid D light? You jump. Right, okay, like okay, any other weapon in the entire game. If we go to if we go to uh do we have um do we have a, a little a little blasters? A little blasters actually. Okay. So where can blasters not hit on the ground? Right, where can it it's pretty I think it's pretty obvious. It can't hit above it. Okay, so you, you can approach blasters, not safely because it can jump there, but with a relative safety. From the uh, from the air, so you just jump over these attacks, okay? That's the counterplay. Fair enough. That's how fighting games work. Rock paper scissors. There's some counterplay to everything. Uh, Scythe. Um, it can't hit directly uh, above or directly below it. It has anti air diagonally. You know, it has anti air. I mean, oh, sorry, it has like aerial attacks um, diagonally down. But if you're below a Scythe player, like there's nothing they can do, right? Or if you're directly above a Scythe player, nothing they can do. Um, sword also no aerial attack. Um, they can jump there, sure, like blasters, but relative safety once again. Okay, now let's look at bow. Let's look at bow dead zones. So we have a move that hits from here, literally from there, okay? We have a move that hits stacked, we have a move that hits, you know, frame one, pretty much stacked. Alright, so, how do you attack the weapon? Yeah, you don't. Yeah, you, you don't. Um, you might have been thinking for a second, wait, how do you attack? Yeah, you know, you don't attack bow. You wait for them to miss and you punish because you can't engage in this weapon. Because if a bow player is playing a weapon properly, yeah, now it doesn't even matter. Like, it doesn't matter what you do, you're dead. Um, so, okay, right, you, you try and jump in to avoid the the, the D lights or the side lights um, or whatever. You try, and, you try and jump, right? End light, end light, end light, end light. Uh, and like nah, maybe you know if you feel, if you want to spice it up a bit if you want to get really really fun if you want to get really creative um, you could you could end like nah yes it's not it's not it's not entertaining anyway riveting but um yeah you can't engage like that so you might think okay let me avoid this you know biggest hitbox in the entire game let me try and approach him all the way up here oh well now you've just been nerd um uh, what, what do you do? What do you do? You can't do anything. You can't do anything. Yeah, even when the blue player is off stage in disadvantage state, right? You know they're at disadvantage. Um, you might think, okay, maybe I attack uh, through the um, you know, maybe I maybe I set up a little edge guard. Maybe I D light on Cypher. I, I do something like that. Okay, so what happens in that situation? 
Oh, yeah, you get hit by the dumbest hitbox in the entire game. Um, you get hit by this. This hits. This hits. Uh, because, of course, it does. Your hitbox isn't over the stage, but your recovery is. Uh, that's fair, right? You know, people, when Green Sword was in its prime, I think, you know, having a J on here is quite symbolic. Uh, people were complaining about the fact that, you know, Great Sword recovery it went over the edge. People were complaining about that because it's broken. Yeah, it was very broken. How come bow recovery doesn't get the, you know, the, the complaints that Great Sword did? I really don't understand. I, I think it's, honestly, I don't think I ever will understand why people are, like, blind to this weapon. It's so, f it's fundamentally broken, like... There's nothing you can do. It has the biggest hitboxes in the game. And like Dare Recovery, right? It also has Sir, which is like into all the moves have no startup at all. Like at all. D light is instant. N light is instant. Dare is it has a, a bit of startup, but it also a humongous hitbox. Ground pound is absolutely like instant. Like genuinely instant. Um recovery, instant, nah, instant. Like what do you do? You can't do anything. It also has, you know, like I'm saying, four hit you combos because why not sprinkle a bit of that in there? Um, and absolutely no dead zones whatsoever. There isn't a dead zone on this weapon that is like weapon can't cover. There isn't a dead zone. You can't get in. If you try to get in and light and side light hit stack. If you if you're far away, you try and play at range. You know if you're on blast or something like that. D light hits from 10 miles away. Literally the length of the stage. It's like a, it's like a Mako side sig, right? A Mako side sig and a light attack that comes out frame one with no end lag. Like, with two combos out of it. Ah, uh, haha. Four hit you combos, actually, let's not forget. But, um, yeah, so there's that. If you try and go up, uh, there's Nair. If you try and go anywhere in between, there's uh, end light. Um, if you try and go really high, you, you might think, okay, you know what? There's absolutely nothing I can do. I'll go up here. Yeah, then you get recovered and it's done out. The bow exists. Bow exists. I need to get this video out there. I just, like, I'm sorry for running. I'm not sorry for running. Bow needs to be abolished. Uh, we need, we need to just, just, no, 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 it needs to stop existing. It needs to actually stop existing. I need to stop queuing it. It needs to stop getting played. Dumb. Dumb weapon, dumb weapon. I'm gone.